welcome to Lavanya's computer classes. In this video, I will explain input statements in Python. Actually, whenever you want to give some values to the variable, there are two methods are there. One is input statement and second one is direct assignment method. Direct assignment method means, for example, I want to give some value, value 10 to the variable a, then we have to write like this, a equal to 10. a equal to 10 means the value 10 is assigned to the variable a. Then if you are give the value, print the value, we just give print function. Using the print function, if you just print a, mean the value 10 is printed. But any time, if you are executing this statement, any number of time, the value of a is 10 only. But I want to give the value, some values to any variables at runtime. So then we have to go for input function. So input function. What is the use of input function? When this function is takes the input from the user. Whenever the program is executed at runtime, if the user wants to give any values to the any variable, then we have to use input function. And one more thing is it converts it into a string. This is a very, very important concept. Any value is taken by the you from the user and it converts into a string. The type of the written object is always will be the string data type. You have to remember this point. Whatever the values are entered through input command, which data type that is means everything is considered as a string data type. So, what is the syntax of input statement? Input function variable equal to input within brackets. You have to write any statement within the function. So, then whatever the value are entered in this input function that value is assigned to this particular variable. Example, here my variable is name equal to input function. In this input function, for our sake only, for user's sake, we have to type some text. So, what is text? I wrote it. What is your name? Then I want to print the value of that name. Print name. Then whenever I am executing the program, whenever the compiler reaches to input function, it stops there only and it waits some time. Whatever the sentence you wrote, write it in the input function that is printed on the screen and waits, wait some time. So now what is your name? I kept the heading like what is your name. So it is display the same data and it is waiting for some time for accepting the data from the user. So that's why I entered some value like ABC. Then print to name in the value is printed. What is the value in the name? What is that means in the name? Whatever the value I entered that is stored in the place of name. So print to name means it print the value ABC. For example, I want to print. What is the data type of that one? So how can you write it means print, print function. Which function is used for type the value of that one means um, data type of that one means type function. So print type of name. So that means which data type is printed means it print the answer is like this str str means it is a string data type okay now i'll go for some more now i want to take some value numerical data type so how can you enter means again same thing variable the variable name is val val is equals to input function mm -hmm. enter any number that means i want to enter some number in the variable value after that i want to print that value also Whenever I execute this statement, these two statements in, at the compile time, whenever it reaches to this particular statement, it is asking like this, enter any number. Whatever the statements it write it in the input function displayed on the screen. So now I enter some value like 10. 10 is a numerical data value. So then print value means print 10, 10 values also printed. No problem. Now we enter. I, now I want to check it what is the data type of the value. So I write print type of val. So what is the answer means here it is displayed like it is a string data type. Here we have to remember one in point. 10 is actually it is looking like a numerical value. But whenever you are using through input function if you are entered the value it is considered as a string data type. It is very very important. But whenever the numerical value is considered as a string data type, it is not possible to do any arithmetic operations. For example, I want to take sum of two numbers. How can you take sum of two numbers means, for example, number one, input, enter first number, 
enter first number next n2 second number also you want input enter second number then after that i want to write n n3 is equals to n n1 plus n2 then print n3 so what is this means this is the sum of two numbers if we are entered like this what happens means whenever we are executing the program whenever we are executing this first line it is waiting some time enter it gives some messages like this enter first number for example i entered the value 10 is it clear now enter second one enter second enter second means what it displayed it displayed 20 okay now n3 is equals to n1 plus n2 what is n value 10 plus 20 whenever you entered like this what is your expecting output your expecting output is 30 because you want to add these two numbers when whenever you are using like this it displays the number like 10 and 20 only concatenation of two numbers otherwise it gives some error also this is because two arithmetic strings are not possible to add here n1 is a string data type n2 is also a string data type it is plus is not possible to arithmetic addition operator is not possible to add between two strings but how can you take two numerical values means then we need in the pipe in the python we need type casting type casting is possible what is the meaning of type casting means converting one data type into another data type that is called as type casting integer input function is always accept all the data types in string data type only but i want to take now two numerical numbers so how can you take means first variable n1 equal to which data type you want to take for example i want to take integer values so before input function we have to specify specify which data type you want like this enter first number is it clear so whenever executing the program is asking some value for n1 if i entered n1 n1 value is 10 okay but this input up to this it is converted into it is take accepted only string values but now string values is converted into int so that's why it is called as type casting now if you want to see what is the data type of the input means print type of n1 so n1 is a 10 10 value 10 first n 10 value is a string data type now it is converted into int so what is the data type it given means it gives type which type integer data type like this we can accept the values similarly float also float means n2 is equals to float input enter value that means whatever the value are entered here that is accepted uh, it is accepted in the form of input string and it is converted into float so this is the use of input function in python thank you for watching my video if you like this video please subscribe my channel thank you